we told you earlier, the intense interest in Sarah Palin's bus tour is overshadowing actual campaigning by actual candidates, including Herman Cain, the Tea Party favorite and the former CEO of Godfather's Pizza, who's been campaigning in New Hampshire this week. He joins us now from Atlanta, his hometown. Mr. Cain, good morning to you. Well, fine. Thank you, Chris. Happy to be with you. Good. We're not going to talk about Sarah Palin just yet, but in a, in a few moments we will. Right now, I want to talk about you. Uh, earlier in our okay. broadcast, our political reporter, Jan Crawford, commented that you're going to actually have a strong showing in a new poll that's going to be released out of Iowa. You visited that state 14 times. Uh, I'd like to ask you, why are you connecting so well with primary voters in Iowa, do you think? I happen to think it's because of, one, my common sense solutions. Two, I think I'm connecting because of my passion about my support and belief in the Constitution, the free market system, and, and fiscal responsibility. I think it's the common sense principles that I bring to the party that's connecting with people and the passion that we can fix a lot of the problems that this country faces. You talk about those common sense solutions. You're a Tea Party favorite. You're a flat tax yes. uh, a guy. Uh, if you fair were tax, fair if, tax. If you were yep. elected president, how would you pay down, though, this massive debt, this $14 trillion deficit this country faces right now? Any specifics you can give us? I sure can. First, we've got to get this economy growing at the rate that it could grow. So I would support lowering corporate tax rates and personal rates, taking the capital gains tax rate to zero, suspending taxes on repatriated profits, and also providing a real payroll tax holiday for employees and employers. And this is the most important thing, make them permanent, because then it'll get this uncertainty that's holding this economy back. So if we have the economy growing the right way, we're going to have more tax revenue coming in. And then, as president, I do an across-the-board cut of all agencies of about 10 percent, and then I would look for overlapping, inefficient, redundant programs in the government and get rid of them. And and then when I put together the fiscal budget or propose the fiscal budget for the upcoming year, I would spend within our means. This is how we get that debt coming down, increase revenues at the same time getting serious about cutting. Let's talk about name recognition, fundraising. Those are obviously both key in, in a presidential yes. campaign. You've got, I'm going to use an example here, Mitt Romney, who raises $10 million in a one-day time period. Your, your political action committee right now has a little over $16,000 in it. I mean, how do you compete with a guy like Mitt Romney or any of these other candidates on a national level? First of all, don't look at the political action committee. That account went dormant at the end of December. We have our actual account is Friends of Herman Cain, which people can find at HermanCain.com. I assure you we have substantially more than that. We have cash on hand, and we will be reporting that in July. Here's our strategy, my strategy. We don't have to raise the most amount of money. We just need to raise enough money to be competitive, because there's an element going on in this campaign that money can't buy. Uh, the fact that my message is resonating so well, our ground game, our grassroots development is far exceeding a lot of the other candidates. So we don't, try, we don't plan to try to raise a billion dollars or outraise the other candidate. My message of common sense solutions, my passion, and connecting with the people who vote, that's what's going to make the difference in this campaign long term. Mr. King, can I just get a, a one-word answer? Seeing Sarah Palin on this bus tour with Donald Trump, does, does, it, does it frustrate you a little, these people that aren't candidates yet that are, that are getting all this attention? Nope. Not at all. One huh? word. <laughs> nope. Yeah, a man of your word. We, th we thank you for that quick response. Herman King, we appreciate you, you taking it. the time this morning. Best of luck to you. My pleasure.